Right, we've got a new product from Callaway, it's Wedge Time, and I must admit at first glance there's some interesting innovation within these wedges, and we're going to put them to the test out on the golf course. And the way we're going to start with this thing is talk about how they look. But when it comes to the looks of a product, they're very much subjective, but in my personal opinion, I think they've done a fantastic job, Callaway. These look so nice, uh, really clean, look good at a dress. I think for me, between the chrome and this blacked out product, I would go for the black product. It looks absolutely superb. And the anti-glare idea in terms of satin dress, there's certainly less distraction when you're playing in sunny conditions such as today. A very notable thing is at the back end of the product, they've had in these jaws wedges, this kind of uh, weighting system, which we'll look at closer in terms of the tech spec. They've always had a color whereby it was, uh, they were red, I think in a couple of iterations ago, blue last time out. And for most people, that won't be a thing, but I must admit, and this is gonna sound really poor, but as a Liverpool supporter, the blue that was in the last product, I just couldn't have put them in the bag. Honestly, it was so much like Everton blue. It put me off and I think it's a clever move because I think it would apply to a lot of people where they're swayed either way, certainly by a strong red or a strong blue color. So the fact they've neutralized this this time round, I think is a good move. But also what I've noticed is that when we look at the tech spec later on, and I've not seen anything yet, I'm really basing this review purely on what I experienced today. But it's very noticeable the weighting towards the toe end seems to be more prominent than it is at the heel. And I think that's probably something that we'll learn in the tech spec that Callaway have done. But I've never noticed it before on any of the other models, but it's very noticeable in these today. But like I said, from a looks perspective, for me, it's a massive thumbs up. So these are called full toe wedges from Jaws and for the first time we've seen these kind of grooves right the way up to the club face. I mean, why wouldn't you want as many grooves across the club face as possible? And it certainly comes into play for me when you're looking to lay that sort of club face open uh, and slide one under it. And then you obviously potentially coming in to that high toe area. So having the grooves there seems a positive move. In terms of spin and control, it's obviously very much dependent on how you deliver the wedge and your ability. It's great to say that these clubs are high spinning wedges, but to be all in all honesty, if you hit one fat, then it ain't going to spin nowhere. So it's very much about your delivery and your ability. All I will say is that shots that you've seen me hit this morning, the control has been really good. And one thing's really positive for me is the feel out of these things. They've felt superb. And again, I'm often critical, to be honest with you, of sort of blade like wedges if you like for average golfers it always confuses to why we go from a set of game improvement irons and then throw in what is effectively a blade wedge so i'm critical of that but in this instance i will say uh, that callaway have produced what is a good feeling wedge but also what seems to be very forgiving as well and i'm really interested to see how that weighting system might be playing its part but so far from a number of different positions Really positive, I've got to say. One of the things I've been really impressed with is the sort of the way in which the club sits at a dress and the way the face sits at a dress and they be able to, I suppose more importantly, the way the hosel meets the club head because I just like the, the fact that there's kind of, uh, it's very easy to lay open and in a lie like I've got now, just off the green, but in the rough, it's very, like I said, just, I, I, it just sits really nice. No matter how you lay the club, it really sits nice and gives you plenty of confidence to execute the shot. If that grips, I'll be, it might go in. What's, I mean, again, I said if that grips, I'll be hugely surprised. And really it didn't, it popped up a little bit too, uh, too well, if anything, but also we're playing off sort of very wet and dewy ground. And then you're playing from a kind of a, a tight lie off the fringe. And again, it just allows you to clip the ball nice and clean with a very much, I closed the club face down for more of a chip and run type shot there. So something, I, 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 again, not explaining myself very well here this morning, but all I can say is no matter which way, what, what situation you find yourself in, these wedges seem to sit incredibly well, however you want to execute the shot or at least attempt to execute the shot.
Now I've got with me a 56 and a 60 degree wedge and for me if I'm playing in bunkers I always play the most lofted club that I've got and I normally carry a 58 wedge which is what I generally play. So we'll play the 60. I'm almost sitting on a tee peg here. This is uh but again you've seen a couple of shots that I've played from the bunkers. It pops up fairly easy again. Very comfortable to lay the club at address however you want it which I've already said before. That's just all round a decent group of wedges. Hard to criticise really, isn't it? We're going to try the same shot. We've just been in a bunker. We might as well have just noticed this little uh, bit of rough that sits on top of the bunker. Ball lying down again, still with that 60 degree wedge and... Uh, oh, it's just... It's really easy, you know, just... Um, I'm liking these, you know. I think the biggest thing for me, and I keep waffling on about the same thing, it's how they sit at address, and again, the ability there, lay the club wide open, swing confidently through it, and uh, it pops the ball up nice, and it's got a great deal of a good, rather, feel about it as well. So from the middle of the club, it's got a great, a great feel. Now wedge videos are never the easiest. I think there's only so many things we can look at in terms of the feedback I can give. And we've played from a number of different situations and all I can say is the club's performed incredibly well. I've already mentioned that it sits well at address no matter how you want to play the shot. In terms of full face grooves and how much control they give you in those positions, I have no idea. You'd have to sort of play that and measure it for yourself. It certainly performed well, the control was good. Uh, and the, the surprising thing, I think, was just how good it felt as well. I was really impressed with how these wedges felt. And as I've already said earlier on, in terms of preference, this blacked out wedge that they've got, I think, looks superb. And that would be certainly my choice. So uh, no more I can add. I think, as ever, the important bit is you get out there and you try them yourselves. And when you're ready for your next set of wedges, then these certainly must be on the uh, to, to try list, at least anyway. So thanks for watching. We've been at Carden Park, which has been an absolute joy to play. It's looked superb. We've had an amazing day. Your comments down below. What are your thoughts on these wedges? What are you playing right now? And are you considering trying these into 2021? Will they make it into your bag? They certainly have a chance of making it into mine, I must admit. Right, last wedge shot of the day. Be nice if it went in. Oh my word. Oh my word. Oh, oh my God. That is literally just a couple of inches away from going in. I told you these wedges were good.